Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blanc from Wild Woman Bushcraft and today I really had luck with the weather. Look at the sun. What a great day to start an overnight trip in the forest. Today my ducks on Poldi and I want to spend another night in the forest and we had just great weather. It is like fall but we also had winter so let's go. If you want you can join us. I had to change the camera. Um, I am very happy that I had a second camera with me because um, the Sony Alpha um, system camera don't work well. They repaired um, a few weeks ago and now they had to repair it again because um, the focus doesn't work. Um, my my um, face is unsharp between the video scene and this um, cannot happen. This is really bad. I buy this camera only a half year ago and um, I, I used a lot of your donations that you sent me at Paypal. Um, you know I took this, this, this money always for new camera equipment and new video equipment. Um, but this camera doesn't work really well. So they had to repair it again and I film um, uh, the other part with this camera now. I hope this will work. I love to have in the winter months the sleeping alternative tent. Sleeping in a tent is just nice because it is very warm and comfortable inside. Of course I don't want to sleep in a tent at every trip but sometimes it is just relaxing to sleep in a tent. And now we had a few ultralight and tracking tents at the market and I can test out one today. It is the Nordisk Lofoten. I've got it from the outdoor so shop dooroutcom and it had only a weight from 500 gram and uh, 500 gram are reduced equipment and if you um, use the tent with every equipment it has a weight from 575 gram and look at this package you see my hands I had really small hands and this package so this is just great I tried out now for the first time in the forest and I will let you know how the quality is and how the sleeping comfort is inside of this tent this is how the tent looks when it is ready so you can take a complete look at the tent without my face um, it is a little bit boiled because there um, are those ble blueberry plants under the tent but um, it feels and looked like it had a very good quality and I am really looking forward to sleeping in it. But now I had um, to collect firewood, make the fireplace and maybe I can make a reflector um, wall out of that trees if I had enough time. So let's go.
with this one dead tree I had the most of my firewood for tonight. This is perfect. It is in spruce, it is dead and it was still standing. When um, that wood is laying at the ground it is wet um, when we had no hot summer. So, um, and when a dead tree is standing it is the most part in the inner circle complete dry. And later I cut the dead tree into small pieces and uh, batone it so I had smaller parts and then it is in perfect firewood. The fireplace will be exactly here where I sit now because then I am far away um, from the tent that I don't have to look that uh, the sparks destroy my tent but it is close enough to be directly um, to the tent and now I need four sticks like that um, because I want to build there a reflector wall um, that nobody can see the fire and as an um, heat reflector. So I had to make those branches and between there came a spark or um, branches to fill it up. The sun is away in a few minutes, it was a really nice feeling to feel sunshine at the skin, but now it is getting dark very soon, so I had to hurry. As I walk around for searching fill material for my reflector wall, I found this here. And first I want to use dead branches because they there lay a lot of dead branches around, but these pieces of wood here are much better because um, there is no air between, so I will use this one.
Now the sea and reflector wall is ready. Of course it would be look better um, and exactlier if I used um, branches, but um, you always had to think about saving your energy and if I used branches I had to cut them and this here lay only around. I don't need energy to cut them. I only had to bring them to this point. So it also works and this is what is really important. Yeah. Um, I want to save my fireplace, but there are no stones. Poldi! There are no stones around. So um, I use also dead wood and I grab a hole into the, into the forest ground, into the forest earth and then I make the fireplace so safe as it is possible here. I don't put the moss that I grab away um, away because I need the moss tomorrow again to recover the camp fireplace because I don't want to leave any signs that I stay there and tomorrow I put it again at the same place and nobody can see any trace from me. This is how I protect the area around of the campfire from sparks. There is no high risk for a forest fire. Everything is wet, but I will go sure that nothing happened. And of course this is not perfect, but I don't find stones, so it is better than nothing. Thank <laughs> you. 
I have enough firewood, but the fire burns not so well. The wood is in the inner circle wetter than I thought, so there is a lot of water inside. And um, I had to stay at the fire and not leave, so that it burns constantly. I had um, another dead tree here close to my camp. Um, so if the firewood was empty, I can cut them and had another firewood, but I don't want to work so much. Maybe I don't even need it. If you had problems with wet wood, with wet firewood, it can help if you lay the firewood around of the campfire. So with the heat of the campfire, the um, the wood will be drier. In a few minutes it is completely dark here into the forest. And you see the fog in the trees and hear nothing than a few owls and the campfire. I love these hours of the day outdoors. Paul lay here at the door from the tent into his own sleeping bag. He loved to stay into a warm sleeping bag because he had only short hairs at the skin, so he frees very easy. But he is also he also notices if someone is around. It is a really really good dog. Today I eat steak and to the steak I roast some pieces of the apple. Essen ist fertig und es schaut verdammt lecker aus. <lacht> 